long since I've had any word from Baruayu. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I'm sure you know how to handle most nobility, but the game is nothing like the Free March's intrigues. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up, don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Especially Sarah. Maybe tell her twice. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. Andraste, watch over us all. I wish there was more news coming from the continent. Good news is becoming an increasingly rare commodity. Interesting. Interesting. to know. How can they call this a vestibule? It's a foyer. Please, I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. It's our own Duchess Florian must have worked in the mirror.
Good to know. How has the lyrium tree dropped up so sharply? With so much fighting, the man should be higher than My contact said there's a new supplier, but we can't track down who it might be. I heard the Grand Duke invited I heard Celine was season. having the entire wing redecorated. But the timing is atrocious. Why would she do such a thing now? This dress uniform is preposterous. Formal armor would have been better. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. Why are there so many elves here? And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan, son of Ban Trevelyan of Ostwick. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. He is so full of it. That's not how it went. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Oh, priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Sika, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais. Right Hand of the Divine. Madame Vivienne, First Enchanter of the Circle of Magi, Enchanter of the Imperial Court, Mistress of the Duke of Gislaine. Her Ladyship, my balls each, of course. <laughs> Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition, Former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Flight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. 
Palam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Mother is the same. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antiva says so. Is it true? The story's a little more than wistful thinking, my lady. Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been, then. Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's bit. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship. But the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention. But they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with her doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette. That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Which power should the Inquisition... Selene has... Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never... I'll see you later. Another time. Can you believe the Inquisition feel its ranks with the other states? You just never... I had hoped to tour the Royal Wing Gardens again. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. He's a she. pity the wings. As a bastard. Extra toes. What a fun, close marrying crowd. Making any new friends? Not as many as you. You can really play their game. I could do without. 
so many feathers. Just think for the bare-assed birds flopping around. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Briada is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants ferrying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Back soon. Not going anywhere. How could the Empress afford to rid of it? What were they doing in the western front? Are you happy to see me at home, Josie? I didn't expect the Inquisitor to be so delightful. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlé needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? I'll let you know at once if I do. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Don't worry so much, my dear. I'll be ready when the time comes to strike. I've always wondered, what's the... We all... By giving each of these selves its own self, one could always find a clinging death. This is the game, Inquisitor. Six of them. The seventh... His abs... The Council are the highest-ranking player. What I want is irre... We need more servers in the ballroom. Where is everybody? I do hope you put it to good use. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Celine knows that. Hm. At least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A oh, shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, my lady. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? 
He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Celine openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Orlay needs in this crisis. You support the civil war? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. I don't suppose you'd like to dance, Lady Cassandra. Now? This is hardly the time. We're here to find a killer, not dance. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Lord Marcelin. Bon. Since I've had a new Did you just... 
grab my bottle. I'm a my dear Maximilian. Get these pastries out to the diplomats. The Duchess has asked too many. Should look around. Interesting. Interesting. Get these pastries out of here. Just gossip. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win us over the council of friends. He should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. Interesting. Get these pastries out to the diplomats. The Duchess has asked for too many. I can't this carry them. Is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win a the
Boring. You don't want to be here, stranger. He hasn't made the pickup. It's been hours. He went into the servant's wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Well, that's useful. Good to know. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal. And terrible. And sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Another time, my lord. Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, friend. You are too kind, Inquisitor. My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable.
always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. It's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes! This is a momentous occasion, the first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, Maker forbid, the talk should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. Good evening, Lady Marcelette. Another time, perhaps. No idea. This is a private conversation. Must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. <laughs> Did you need something? only said that because you fancy the Empress is fed up a state. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heal, if you ask me. <laughs> this is...
This is a private conversation. Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal, you may have found an ally. If that's true, I would welcome an alliance with the Inquisition. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your call. Gentlemen. Celine prefers tonight. Gaspar will ruin us.
I should get back to the board. the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith, delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share. Considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. If you truly want answers, help me find them. I already told you. I must return to protect the Empress. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. 
He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navaran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. I want to know more about the peace talks. I had a question about you, Briana. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. That should tell you everything you need to know about my life. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. I've been told you were romantically involved with the Empress. I didn't take you for a gossip monger, Inquisitor. I suppose your spies have already briefed you, so there's no point in pretending. Yes, Selene and I were lovers once, but we've gone our separate ways now. What's your story? How was an elf invited to the Empress's ball as an ambassador? Empress Selene and I have... history. There was a time when I put my spies at her disposal. She knows my qualifications. We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating to determine whether I return to her side in the war. What do you mean, we had a falling out? She betrayed me. Turned me over to the guards on a trumped-up charge to save her political reputation. It wasn't personal. It's the game. That's how all Orlesians justify these things to themselves. It wouldn't do to let the court know she had an elven... friend. If she doesn't win you back to her side, what do you intend to do? I have contingency plans. I'm not a child putting all my hopes on a single ball. This evening gives me access to Duke Gaspard. He's challenging. Not as progressive or persuadable as his cousin. But with time and sufficient blackmail. He might work with us. I'm surprised you'd admit that, considering the circumstances. I know it's incriminating. Few harbor more resentment against Selene than I. But if she died after inviting me here, the court would certainly pin her death on me. An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienages across Orlé, across all Thedas, would be purged. That cannot happen. You might be interested in what I found. It's about you, actually. I found the drop point, Briala. I know your people are hidden all over the palace. Of course they are. I'd be a poor spy master if I didn't have spies, Inquisitor. You murdered negotiators and stole their documents. In all Asian politics, Inquisitor, murder and intrigue barely count as trying. If that shocked you, wait until Celine shows her hand. You might be interested in what I found. It's about Gaspard. He's been threatening the nobles on the Council of Heralds. Typical. Gaspard's always been a bully, regardless of the Chevalier Code. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, to what do we owe this honor? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. Perhaps you could tell me something then. We haven't been properly introduced. How rude of us to forget. My Lord Inquisitor, allow me to present Lady Couteau. And Lady Colombe. And of course, Lady Fleur. We are the Empress's ladies-in-waiting. I'd like to know more about Empress Selene. Her Majesty has held the throne since she was just 16 years old. She is respected and beloved 
Not just in Orlais, but across Thivers. She doesn't care much for liver, and she drinks her tea black. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. It seems strange to hold peace talks during a ball. The nobility must do things very differently in Austria. By Orlesian tradition, moments of great solemnity are celebrated with revels and feasts. While joyous occasions are given time for reflection and contemplation. We must never forget that life is both bitter and sweet. The ball is an opportunity to celebrate life and hope for the future, while we mourn those killed in the war. What is the Empress trying to accomplish with the negotiations? Peace is her only objective, Inquisitor. Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions, but those desires threaten the safety of all Orlesians. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the larger crisis. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general, much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among Chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the Elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages. She is an idealist, but her lack of patience would prove disastrous. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns the Grand Duke. He's made a lot of threats to the Council of Heralds. The Grand Duke is all talk, Inquisitor. Very loud talk, accompanied by swords. He has never had any skill at the game. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns Ambassador Briala. She killed ambassadors from both Celine and Gaspard, and forged documents to both sides. How despicable! After the Empress extended her hospitality? She's better at the game than we thought. Her people have infiltrated every part of the Winter Palace. This is extremely alarming, Inquisitor. She could be spying on our every word. How exciting! If the evening ends favorably for the Empress, how does the Inquisition benefit? Her Imperial Majesty brings the might of the Olysian Empire with her friendship. She is also a respected diplomat and world leader. She can forge alliances for you with Rivain, Antiva, the Underfels. And she throws the best parties. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. My friend, come in, have a drink. What can I do for you? You've been busily charming the court, I see. I'd like to know more about you. All of Ole knows my story. But you, my friend, are far too sensible to be Orlesian. The heart of it is simple. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Ole. But my cousin, Celine is a politician, while I am a man of action. She charmed the Council of Heralds. They gave the crown to her, and while it looks fetching on her, I intend to take it back. What's your claim to the throne? The Hundred Days Cough swept Val Royer in 877. It killed thousands of children, royalty and commoner alike. There are only three living grandchildren of Emperor Judicael I. Myself, my sister Florian, and Celine. And I am the eldest. By rights, the crown should have passed to me. If you're the rightful heir, how did Celine become empress? I am the oldest, but I lack the Valmont name. My mother was the late Emperor's sister. Celine is a Valmont. Her honored father was my mother's brother. But she is the youngest. 
When there is any doubt surrounding the line of succession, the matter falls to the Council of Heralds. Selene outplayed me, forming alliances on the Council for support. So they passed over me in her favor. So you intend to out-negotiate your cousin? It will take heroic effort on my part, Inquisitor. And a lot of brandy. The talks will take most of the evening. Make her willing, we will emerge triumphant. I have a question about the peace talks. You didn't extend this invitation out of the goodness of your heart, Grand Duke. As you might have guessed, I'm not the most political man. If the nobles believe the Inquisition supports me, it will help in negotiations. And uh, I take joy in watching the scandalized expressions when they see us together. What can you tell me about Celine and Briella? Briella may be called ambassador, but she is purely a spy. She works towards some hidden agenda. Elves have no place in politics. Her presence here is suspicious. Celine is a skilled player in the game. She knows how to get her way with a few words and a smile. But the game is a farce. I will prove that a few hundred chevaliers are better. What will be going on in these negotiations? We will whittle one another down with words until we are bored into agreement. Celine will talk circles around us, that elf will glower and cast suspicion everywhere, and I will get very drunk. Somehow, by the time they stop serving drinks, our war will be ended. Politics, my friend. I get the distinct impression that you don't enjoy politics, Duke Gaspard. In Orlais, they call it the Great Game. They believe it is something you can play and win. But there are no winners. Like dogs playing Wicked Grace, it is a mockery of action. Give me a battlefield, Inquisitor. I will show you who the victors are. When I am Emperor, there will be changes. No more of this. Courtier's nonsense. The nobles may not like it, but after a few lose their heads, they'll fall in line. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about Briella. She's got people hidden among the servants all over the palace. I suspected as much, but couldn't confirm it. She's a difficult adversary to predict. There's no telling what move she intends to make. She's killed ambassadors and changed their documents. You can prove this. Now that is interesting. What is she trying to accomplish? She bears closer watching than I thought. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about you, in fact. Want to tell me why you are threatening the members of the Council of Heralds? The language of politics, Inquisitor. If you cannot bribe politicians, you threaten them into backing down. Most of the Council are Selene's lapdogs. There was little chance I could win their support any other way. We'll speak later. Another Duke Gaspard is named Fortune Inquisitor. Doesn't look like the negotiations are going well. Ah, there's the Dowager. Don't make eye contact. She wouldn't want.
caught in the middle of this crap? What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? They always kill the servants first, my dear. Otherwise they could run and warn someone. Oh sure, reasonable, innit? Friggin' garbage! Search the area. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. The crest of the Chalon family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Predatory agents!
Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? Ambassador, we meet again. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. Will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Chalon crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easy going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics than double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? It's the game, my dear. Everyone plays it here. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. I'm curious. What did you hear about the fight with the Archdemon? They say the army of the Inquisition fought a desperate stand at Haven against the forces of an old god. In the thick of battle, you crossed swords with evil itself. The enemy had you outnumbered, and cornered, and you cast down a mountain upon the Archdemon and escaped. Even if a tenth of that is true, it's a remarkable feat. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Ready? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go.
There must be something here. Inquisitor Trevelyan, who we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? If I've learned anything, Your Grace, it is to put my trust in no one. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. 
The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. The Grand Duchess tried to convince me Gaspard is the traitor, but I'm not sure I buy it. Florian and her brother are as thick as thieves, but she would give him up in an instant to save herself. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. peace talks. What are you hoping to gain from tonight's negotiations? A voice. Simple enough, isn't it? My people have none. We've lived for centuries amid the lowest ranks of society. No one hears us. No one sees us. If the elves of Halam Shiral were elevated, if we had an elven noble at court, we'd have recognition. A voice. How much can a single member of the court do? It won't remake the world overnight, if that's what you're asking. Our problem is invisibility. The people in power are used to ignoring us. We're not actors, we're scenery. We need elves in positions where they can't be overlooked. 
We need to force humans to take us seriously. How will you persuade the Empress to elevate an elf to nobility? It is already in place. Selene knows she needs us to tip the balance of the civil war in her favor. All we have to do is wait. She'll exhaust her other options and come to us for help. Then, we'll name our price. I assume the role of elevated noble will fall to you, Milady Brianna. Let's be honest, Inquisitor. The sole elven noble in the court isn't going to have a position of power and luxury. But that's the future. We need to focus on the task at hand. If Selene were killed, what would happen to your plans? Assuming I'm not the one blamed, it would be precarious. I've been working on Gaspard, but he's like a charging bull. It would be easier to rein him in if I had something that could hurt him. I had a question about you. I'm an elf, Inquisitor. I'm good at what I do. And so that matters. I will help my people no matter the cost. I've been told you were a... I didn't take... I suppose you're spot But we've gone our separate ways now. Empress said that was a t We had a falling out. Now we are negotiating. It wouldn't do to let... But with time and sufficient blackmail, he might work with us. You just told... I know it's few hot, but if... An elf assassinating the Empress? Alienage is across all day. Across all... You might be interested in what I found. It's about Gaspard. I found orders issued to his general to sneak troops into the palace. My people reported chevaliers skulking around where they shouldn't be. It's a foolish move if he doesn't succeed. Sneaking men in is easy. Getting them out unnoticed is not. You think Gaspard was behind the murder of that council emissary and the Tevinter agents in the servant's wing? Gaspard is ruthless. He wants the throne, but to conspire with Tevinter? That's low even for him. If you intend to stop him, you'll need irrefutable proof. His supporters will accept nothing less. Selene will never end the talks until she has no other choice. You might be interested in what I've found. It's about you, actually. Another time. Is there something we may do for you? We do so enjoy speaking with you. We will speak to the Empress on your behalf. My investigations turned up something interesting. It concerns the Grand Duke. I intercepted orders to his general to sneak soldiers into the palace tonight. How could he behave so dishonorably? He would attack the Empress and break all the binding rules of hospitality. I thought there were more handsome chevaliers on the dance floor than there should be. I found Gaspard's knife in the servants' quarters. It was used to murder a council emissary. His own sister told me that he intends to assassinate the Empress tonight. Are you quite certain of this? That would be treason. How scandalous! There must be some mistake. Do you have proof of this? Something Her Majesty can take to the nobles? You must find proof so she can arrest Gaspard. She would never call off negotiations, even to save her own life. Perhaps you could tell me something, then. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. What is the Empress trying to... This is her only... Gaspar and Briala are driven by personal ambitions. The war must end tonight. We must conclude this to deal with the la... What's happening with... Things do not look... The Grand Duke is as stubborn as always. But the knight is young, and Her Majesty will do everything she can to persuade him. Good evening. Until now. Do take care. Enjoy the much.
It is always good to see... You seem better at making friends among the nobility than I. Well done. I discovered something you might be interested in. It's about you, in fact. There's a Council of Herald's emissary in the servants' quarters. Stabbed to death with your knife. No. That's impossible. Who would try to pin such a crime on me? The elf? It seems unlike Selene. I have the orders issued to your general to sneak troops into the palace. Of course I did. The Winter Palace is hardly neutral ground for our peace talk. I would be disappointed in Selene if she were not using this opportunity to set a trap. And while we rarely agree on anything, I have never yet been disappointed in our Empress. Another... If you spied better than the rest of the council, did you see that panicked Tashi? Interesting. Waste of time. Waste of time. Just gossip. Just gossip. Well, that's... 
that's useful. Is it my imagination? Or are they more inquisitive than they Inquisitor. Enjoying the ball, I hope. What exactly does a court in? I am responsible even if. I take the fox across with a second ring. No, that won't work. Stick with it. You will fit. Inquisitor. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps you could tell me about the Council of Heralds. What is its purpose? Of course, my lord. The Council of Heralds exists to oversee the inheritance and creation of new titles of nobility. Titles outside the royal family are not recognized at court, but they remain part of ancient estates. In the event that there is no clear inheritor to an estate, it falls to us to decide the case. You haven't seen anything unusual tonight, have you? Nothing could be more peculiar than Gaspar and Selene dancing together. Now that you mention it, the royal wing is sealed, and no one knows why. A great pity. The garden in that part of the palace is exquisite. Another time, perhaps. If I take the fox across with a second ring... But if I take the fox across with a...
servant gone? Elves. Commander, has anyone ever told you that you have the most remarkable eyes? No idea. Room after room, and for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful.
Thank you. Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate's made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf for diamonds, I bet. Hello? Anyone there? Somebody.
What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. <laughs> <laughs>